Welcome to MAT 2LB booklet number 7, Geometry, lesson number 3, More Complex Perimeters. <clears throat> so our first two lessons in this unit we dealt with perimeter of triangles and rectangles, which are fairly uniform shapes, the perimeter of a circle, which we call a uh, circumference. Today we're going to deal with more complex perimeters, which means one of two things. It means working with shapes that are neither triangles nor rectangles nor circles, but some combination of the two, or maybe just a unique shape in general. Um, and we're also going to be looking at shapes where we have to do some calculations to determine the lengths of the sides so we can determine the perimeter. So let's start with example number one. Example number one says find the perimeter of the following irregular shapes. So this one here, again, it's sort of like a combination of a rectangle and a triangle, but there are pieces of that that we don't want if we're talking just about triangles and rectangles. So we're going to take the same approach we had before. Let's imagine starting in the corner and walking our way around the outside. So there's one side, two sides, three sides, and four sides. So let's recreate that in a formula. We know the perimeter will be side one plus side two plus side three plus side four. So we have these four sides being added together. Now we're going to substitute in the values we know. So where we started, the first side was eight centimeters, six centimeters, 10 centimeters, and five centimeters. And when we add all of those sides together, we get a perimeter of 29, and our unit of measure is going to be centimeters. Centimeters, getting that unit of measure is always important. So that was example A. <clears throat> what I'd like you to do is consider a similar approach here to example B. I'd like you to, again, pick a starting point, make your way around the outside of this shape, adding up all of the different side lengths. I'd like you to hit pause here, give it a try on your own. You think you got it? Come on back. In a couple seconds, we'll see how you did. All right, you're back. I'm going to start my journey around the outside of this shape right here. So I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different side lengths at the end. So let me get a formula going here. The perimeter equals side one plus side two plus side three plus side four plus side five plus side six plus side seven. Now that's a little time consuming to write out. What this is going to ensure is that I don't miss a side when I'm making my calculation. So the side I started with was four, then a side that was eight meters, another eight meters, four meters, 13 meters, five meters, and 13 meters. And that is, let me just double check here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different values. So that's uh, as it should be. Let's type these into our calculator now. So the perimeter is equal to 4 plus 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 13 plus 5 plus 13 it gives us a perimeter of 55. And the unit of measure for my perimeter, meters. <clears throat> and this is how you do the perimeter of irregular shapes. As I said, shapes that are not um, those familiar triangles, rectangles, and circles that we looked at. So these are one type of uh, perimeter that we're going to be looking at. The second in example two, these are perimeters where we need to do a little bit of work. We need to find some of the length. So if we look at this L-shaped piece here in A, again, we're tasked with finding the perimeter. Let's have a look around the outside. So imagine I was going to start over here, and this is a start. So there's one side, two side, three side, four side, five side, six. I'm looking for six different sides. Um, but I only know values right off the top for four of them. I have 30 centimeters here, 25 here, 25 here, and five here. There's a couple I don't know. I don't know how long, let me get a different color. I don't know how long this side length is here, but I can figure it out. And here's how I can figure it out. This entire side, and I'll get my highlighters going again, this entire side, if I were to walk along it, is 25 centimeters. But the piece that I want is 25 but without that little piece there. And how long is that little piece? Well, that little piece is five, which means that this length here is going to be 25 meters minus five meters. And that's going to be equal to 20 meters long. So I had to do a little bit of arithmetic to calculate the length of that side, but now I've got it. I'm going to do a similar thing on this end right here. I don't know how long this one is. I do know that this whole side over here on the left is 30, and the piece I want to take away is this little side length right here, and that's 25. So what this means is that this side right here is the entire length of that left side, which is 30, minus 
that little piece that gets me most of the way there, but not quite, and that's 25, giving us a total for this side of 5 meters. So a little bit of arithmetic has allowed me to calculate those two side lengths. Now I'm going to write out that formula, and it was six sides. So I'm going to write out my perimeter is equal to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 plus side 4 plus side 5 plus side 6. And now we're going to start. So I started in that bottom left corner. My first side for my perimeter was equal to 30, and then 25 at the top. Then that 5 that I found over there in the green, followed by the 20 that I found in the orange, followed by the 25 down that side, and the 5 at the bottom. And now I just have to add them up. Grab my calculator. 30 plus 25 plus 5 plus 20 plus 25 plus 5 gives me 110. And this time I'm talking about centimeters as my unit of measure. That's my perimeter. So again, just to review that, what I did was for the missing side lengths, I just subtracted the length I knew from a second length I knew to get my unknown side length. So what I'd like you to do is have a look at B. First thing I'd like you to do is try to identify the lengths of the couple of sides that we're missing. And that would be this side right here. And the second side that we're missing is this side here. So what I'd like you to do is hit pause in the video, see if you can figure out these two side lengths. When you think you've got them, come back to the video and we'll talk about how you found it. Okay, so you've tried to find these two sides. Let's have a look at the first one. The first one is very much like the last one that we did, or the examples that we did in the last example, where we know this entire side over here is going to be 60. And this little piece here that we are... Um, moving first is 30 yards. How much is going to be left of this? So the arithmetic we'll be performing here is this little piece is going to be, let me get my little bracket on there, is going to be a length of 60 minus a length of 30, which will leave us with 30 yards for this side length here. Let's look at the orange side. Now the orange side is actually a total. It's actually the whole length, but we don't know how much that is. I know that there are a couple of pieces that I know. I know that from the top down to here is 40, and from that point where it stops down to the bottom is 20. So if I take 40 plus 20, that will give me this side length, which is going to be 60 yards. So now I have found those two values that I'm missing. This is another six-sided shape, so let's write this out. My perimeter will be equal to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 plus side 4 plus side 5 plus side 6. And as I said, this is time consuming, but it ensures that you don't miss a side when you're doing your arithmetic. And now we're going to start filling in these values. So let's start, let's grab another highlighter here. Let's start right up here in this corner. So we'll start with a side that is 60. I'm heading clockwise, then another side that is 60, that takes us down the right side. The bottom I know is 30, it takes 20 to get up to the next length, that is 30, and 40 to get back up to where we started. At this point, we grab our calculator and we calculate our perimeter, <clears throat> which is 60 plus 60 plus 30 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 gives us 240 our units of measure, if we refer back to our diagram, our yards. And that's how you calculate the perimeter of an L shape, an irregular shape, with side lengths missing. If there are any of these you're unsure of, go back and review these examples and try them again on your own. If you're feeling confident about these, now's the time to head off to the worksheet. This is the end of lesson number three. Good luck with the worksheet, and we'll see you in lesson number four.